Hello and welcome. This is Martin from Cyber51. Today I'm showing you another remote exploit, uh, this time against a Java RMI server. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm using the NMAP scanning tool in order to find out which ports are open on the remote machine. And I can instantly see here there are numerous services open, but particularly this one here, the 1099 TCP. RMI registry, so that typically indicates that there is an RMI Java service running on that port. So next thing I have to do is I go into the Metasploit uh, framework and I search here for an RMI server. Okay, so search RMI server and then I find an exploit here, which has been ranked excellent. So chances of success are pretty high with the um, excellent ranking here. So what I'm what I'm going to do is I want to use this exploit here. So I simply copy paste that and do that here. And then I do the show options command to see what other options I need to specify. So I need to specify here the local host, which is my attacker machine which is 172.16.138.139. And I also need to set the remote host, which is the victim machine or the machine which is being attacked, which is the 172.16.138.138. And then all I have to do is I exploit that service. So I run the exploit against the target and observe what's gonna happen. And we instantly see here, we get a interpreter session. So we have successfully hacked into the target system now. Um, we can verify that. Let's do a question mark, see all the different options we have here. So um, let's do an if config, for example. And then we see, okay, we are now on the 138, 138. So that's the victim machine. But actually what we wanna do now is we want to upload a file to that hacked server, the server we just hacked into. And we have the so-called upload command here uh, available in um, Metterpreter, so here's the upload command. So we now say upload, and then we want to upload from our local root directory, the file mat2.php, and we wanna put that into the web root of the remote server. Okay, so that has successfully completed. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we simply open a web browser, Conqueror, or any other web browser, doesn't really matter. And we simply browse to that file we have just uploaded to the mat2.php. Okay, so we are browsing to that file and now it's asking us here, we get the so-called mad leads console. It's asking us for a username. And uh, so the username, default username here is mad and it's asking us for a password as well. And the password is uh, mad as well. So now we have actually logged into the remote system. Fantastic. Um, we now can do a cat etc pass wd for example and see here we go and we get the pass wd uh, folder content so um, this is a very evil sort of attack because it's utilizing the web port so in other words um, if you have a firewall in place port 80 is usually open and now we are tunneling our malicious activity through a legitimate service port. And uh, that's obviously pretty dangerous. We could go further and start encrypting this. So we could run that over SSL, um, port 443 or any other proprietary port we choose. And then IDS or IPS wouldn't even have a chance to look into that with the packet inspection. So it's, it's quite evil and uh, everything, all the, 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 the hacks can be done over the web interface as you can see that here. So I hope you find that helpful and I look forward to see you in one of the next videos. Thank you.